Big companies like Amazon have been targeting anime for quite a while, slowly but surely removing figures and manga from their platform, using excuses like they're harmful material, when clearly they're not. Now this unfortunately isn't new, I've talked about it plenty of times in the past, but Amazon's targeted anime for at least two or three years now, but whenever we see situations like this happen, it leaves a lot of us worrying if it's going to get worse, if a giant purge is going to happen. So I wanted to talk about a new situation with Amazon removing more anime figures from their platform, and I have some examples of Amazon removing other content as well, like light novels in the past, which I just kind of wanted to touch on again. So this is a Nichibon article. Amazon is still removing anime figures and insisting they promote child exploitation. So according to some users, Amazon has removed listings for multiple figurines from multiple brands after labeling them as products that promote child exploitation. A Twitter user and Amazon vendor noted that his listings were being removed in mass by Amazon, and after listing over a dozen figures that allegedly ran afoul of Amazon's policy, uh, Gaffney was given 30 days to remove the listing before Amazon took matters into their own hands. So, I want to head on over to the Twitter thread that he posted. He said, Is anyone not seeing Amazon nuking practically every Nendroid, Figma, and Max Factor figurine out of nowhere? I have like four emails with lists of figures I used to stock now banned from the site and permanently delisted. I got to make a more detailed post on this. This is concerning. It definitely is as a fan of anime, as a fan of manga, seeing something being targeted like this is really worrying and it is is really disheartening to see. If you love something like anime, you need to be worried about your hobby and things that you like, franchises you love, not being allowed anymore because someone at a company like Amazon or just Amazon in general thinks that they're a little too edgy or they're a little too outside of the cardboard box. So it continues on with, not sure how newer figures are faring, but I've seen this level of mass banning of anime merch before. Here's the most recent email, but in the recent week slash weeks, this is like the fourth such one with a bunch of figures now gone and marked erroneously as CP. I've reported similar over the past two years, but this is insane. So here are some of the emails that he got. A notification of restricted products removal. Hello from Amazon. I love how they start off their message like, oh, hi, you know, we're, we're just wanting to chat a little bit. Everything's fine. There are tons of different figures here. There, there's just, there's a lot here. He uh, provides multiple screenshots. This screenshot has one, two, three, four. It has nine different statues or figures on it that were removed. And at the end, it says this item has been identified as one that is prohibited for sale or listing on Amazon. And Amazon does not allow the sale of products that promote child exploitation or depict children or characters resembling children in a suggestive manner. For more information, information, please refer to the follow seller help page. So I did try to Google some of these images, some of these figures, to get an idea of what they were banning, what they were removing, and not all of them are easily findable online. Um, unfortunately, a lot of them are out of stock and aren't listed on websites anymore, but I found one um, exact copy of one that was removed from Amazon that he had posted. It is a Max uh, Factor Lucky Star Konata Izumi figure. This in no way possible is inappropriate or bad. This isn't a, a, a bad figure, let's say. I also have um, some other figures of other characters they removed, like um, this one, the Melancholy of Haruya Suzumai. I always say her name wrong. Um, this is another figure that you know, was removed off of Amazon, was banned off of Amazon. Again, this in no way is a bad figure at all. This looks really, it looks like a nice figure, first of all, but the character doesn't look super young. You know, none, neither of these characters are in very um, uh, bad outfits or inappropriate outfits, I guess we'll say. I think that they look perfectly fine. They're just in schoolgirl outfits and their hair is, you know, flowing in the wind. Doesn't look doesn't look like something I think Amazon should be banning at all whatsoever.
First of all, some of these characters that even look younger, let's say, they don't even look like real people. I mean, a lot of anime characters don't, but let's look at Konata, for instance, because this was an exact figure that Amazon banned. Konata's an 18-year-old character, and Nico Robin, another character that um, we had a statue banned of, Nico's supposed to be 28, not 18, not 19, 20 freaking eight. That is in no way a child. That is a full-blown adult, but it doesn't even matter because they're fictional. These aren't real kids. Even if these characters might be 16 or 17, they're not real. You can't hurt a cartoon. These are fictional characters in a fictional world that are doing fictional things. These companies make it sound like they're figures that are supposed to represent real people. They don't. They're not supposed to. They're just anime characters. Even if they want to run with the narrative that these figures that might look younger could be exploiting children and be harmful, things like Lollicon aren't illegal in the United States of America, and people need to face the fact that it's protected speech by the Supreme Court in the Constitution of the United States. But the figures they're banning aren't used to exploit children. They're actual representations of characters from anime that no one's had problems with other than, of course, the same people that have always had a problem with every single anime that's ever existed. This is a continuation of misrepresentation and, and a lack of understanding by some people uh, for, of anime in the West. Unfortunately, that's the best way I can say it. It's just more people attacking something they don't understand. Just because you don't understand why someone likes anime doesn't mean you should want to ban it and then claim that it's illegal, disgusting, harmful content. There are movies with a much worse content than this, a character that doesn't even look realistic, first of all, in a schoolgirl uniform that's supposed to be a legal adult. I mean, I don't know why people get so bothered by anime and by fictional characters. Let's go over to another article. This was back from 2020, actually again by Nichibon. Um, an Amazon seller has had his anime figures removed from sale from Amazon after they deemed that the figures promote child exploitation. Yeah, this was a year-old situation, and it is basically the same situation that we're seeing happen now. Unfortunately, it's not something new. It's not something that's going to stop because companies like Amazon feel like they can do whatever they want and they can ban whatever they want. So, continuing on, it says, uh, might be the same asshats I've been noticing on Amazon. Out of nowhere a few months ago, Old Good Smile Company and other official Miku listings from my store and all sellers got removed from Amazon, wrongfully claiming it was CP. A suspicious mass flagging of all anime products also. Even worse is that Amazon wouldn't remove the listings from my seller inventory and would threaten me to manually delete them or delete my my account. Listings that have been sold for five plus years, been meaning to get back to selling like I used to, used to sell a ton of Figma and GSC. As a preface, my store has been rather dormant for uh, a number of years, long story, only selling here and there, but from 2008 to 2012, I was selling a hundred thousand plus dollars worth of figures from my site, eBay, and Amazon. And here are some of the figures that they decided to ban last year and that they decided to remove last year saying that these you know promote child exploitation why some of these characters again aren't even characters that are supposed to be under 18 these are characters that are full freaking blown adults i actually think that a lot of these figures look very good like this one this one looks very good of course miku looks amazing i think that this figure looks good i'm a huge fan of figurines and also statues I own a lot of statues for uh, anime characters and comic book characters, but I think it's absolutely ridiculous that they would say something that looks this innocent in a way would promote such bad things because they don't. They're just little figures. What does it matter, Amazon? These are not figures that are, you know, depicting some disgusting, awful thing. And these characters are all wearing clothes. They're all fully clothed. They're not in compromising positions. They're literally just standing upright, doing things like playing the keyboard since one is playing the keyboard uh illegal content because 
as far as I know, it's not. And I wanted to head over to an article from Nyanet that I had actually read when it was first published back in July. Amazon removes more anime slash light novels from their platform. Even Yen Press has now been hit. We are not only just talking about figures. So it says June 24th, 2020, J Novel Club posted about Amazon KDP blocking some of their products and lacking communication as to what the issue was slash is. They said, for those of you who may have pre-ordered my next life as a villainess volume six from Amazon, Amazon arbitrarily decided to block the book from publishing and canceled almost one thousand pre-orders today. We apologize for the inconvenience and will try to upload again on the sale date. You may have noticed, but this has been going on for the past two months, starting with a block of how not to summon volumes 6 and 10, and they list off several others, Greatest Magic Master, Infinite Stratos, Lazy Dungeon Master are all blocked. Amazon Content Review refuses to communicate any reason for these blocks, and multiple, sometimes daily, contacts are producing little results. The worst part about this, I feel, for these publishers is the fact that they're not being told what content is bad. It is all just being generalized into one category that it's blocked content. Companies like Amazon... And I talked recently about a situation with Steam. They need to tell, um, you know, these publishers what the big issue is so that these publishers can either uh, change the, the product or, or change the way that they're publishing things. And they should be given at least a free chance to change their content if they want. Personally, I don't want to support a lot of companies that would... Um, that would give in to these companies just because they want their product on a platform. I do understand for a publisher, they want their products to be reaching as many people as possible, so they would want their product to be on, like, Steam or an Amazon, um, but at the same time, they should at least be told what the problem is so they could change it if they wanted. They should be told, hey, this clear um, example of a product isn't allowed. This is why, though, X, Y, and Z reasons, but of course, companies like Amazon and also Steam Sony, don't do that. So continuing down, um, people were obviously talking about it, obviously very upset with it. People across social media also took notice of listings for light novels being removed from Amazon, and there are tons of different examples here, but Jay Novel Club had actually tweeted out, We verified today that starting July 11th, all books in the series The Greatest Magic Master's Retirement Plan, I Shall Survive Upon Using Potions, How to Not Summon a Demon Lord, and Clockwork Planet are no longer available for sale on Amazon Kindle. We have received no notification whatsoever about this and only noticed due to user complaints. I'm so sad to see companies make things like anime sound like it's terrible, disgusting, awful content because so many people love anime and manga and I'm one of those people uh, for sure and when they're openly banning this content, you know other companies will too and other platforms will too because if they say a giant company can do it, I can do it too. It's a very sad, unfortunate situation. I will definitely be talking about this more in the future as situations arise because I definitely think that this is something that needs to be talked about. Not enough people recognize when a company like Amazon is, you know, um, censoring publishers or developers. They're not allowing people to put their content onto their platform and they ban things like anime figures, giving outrageous reasons as to why the content is banned. But let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.